morning everyone we've got a new addition to the Tuesday vlog poor the Jimmy who was off work today so we've ordered a McDonald's because um, it's only right we've just been arguing over a fruit bag I added the fr I I gave Jimmy my phone I said I'll treat you you can buy McDonald's breakfast so he added his order on then I thought you know what I'll add a fruit bag on I added a fruit bag on so my fruit bag came on, I'm like, oh it's my fruit bag, he's like, no it's fine. He says he added a fruit bag on, but he didn't. I did. Liv, I swear on his life I clicked fruit bag, I'm not even lying to you. I 100% <laughs> put that fruit bag in the in the cart. <laughs> well, I did. Well, it's their fault, isn't it? Not ours. So no, but on the order it's only it one fruit bag. If I fruit bag in, I 100% added a fruit bag. Anyway, I don't like McDonald's breakfast. Well, I don't like the McMuffins anymore. So I've gone for these. Oh, the and a fruit bag. I like how you've claimed it. You can have it. Oh, oh. Right. I'm in the conservatory because I am just now fed up of saying I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this to the house and never doing it. So I've been measuring stuff up. Jimmy's in there. He's refusing to take me to IKEA because he's ill, which is fair enough. <sighs> but he's just with Jesse. Um, so obviously the conservatory is a right state at the minute, but it's not like bad when I think about it. Like I don't know, it's not that bad, right? So <laughs> this is the current state. Obviously, this is just all washing that'll get sorted. I'm gonna find a solution for where to put um like the dirty washing things because obviously we've got no storage in this house whatsoever we have the most stunning dining table ever it's absolutely gorgeous and obviously you can't see it because there's christmas stuff on here because the loft isn't like we can't really put stuff up there because it's not like in a decent condition but jimmy says he does need to go back up and just double check it because we might actually be able to put some things up so if you think that once all this is gone all the christmas stuff that's like a big space that's gone this sofa needs to go obviously this is the one we used when we were waiting for our sofa to be delivered so once that's gone we've got a massive space here there's only one there's a set of plugs in one set of plug in this room and it's right in that corner there we've got a tv here ready to go up so i'm thinking i've just done some measurements and i'm wanting to get this mam uh, chest of six drawers from ikea because then i'm thinking obviously i hope in there like they'll be quite deep um well deep enough to fit some of that in i think it should do because it's like literally lights like little stuff like that um, and then the rest of it we'll just have to find somewhere else to store it then the tv can go on top of the drawers there and then i need to figure out where we can put um this because i'm wanting to get like maybe a sofa i don't know it's just very difficult because i'm crap at interior design and looking at a space and thinking this is what i'd go best with it um so i'd love for someone to do it but obviously I don't know it's just difficult isn't it trying to do, figure out where the stuff's gonna go when you can visualize it really well so and obviously this stuff costs money like i ain't got loads of money to just go and spend in ikea and buy a new sofa and buy a new set of drawers to be honest but i just i feel like it's never gonna get done if we just don't do it and it's just really annoying me now and what's this is what's made me want to do it is i went to Tesco. i've just been to tesco i'll show you some bits that i bought because i bought some more bits for jesse um i went to tesco and I saw all the barbecue stuff. I saw all like the sharing platter plates that they're doing. Like they've got these really cute strawberry platter things in for when you have barbecues. And I just thought, I so wish we could do that this summer. Um, I, that's all, all I want to do. I just want people to come round, you know, sit in this conservatory with a massive spread on that table. Um, and I don't know, just have people around and stuff. And we just can't because we can't have like loads of people in the living room because it's too crowded so if you open those doors it's like one nice big space and i just really really want to get it done for summer but you can't always get what you want unfortunately <laughs> and i'm that type of person if i want something done i need it done like then and now which is quite surprising considering we've still got no blinds and obviously we'd need blinds for this room as well we actually had someone come out and quote us for blinds in this conservatory and they said two thousand pounds £2,000 for some planes in this conservatory. 
Um, but obviously we knew that when we bought the house there was no blinds, there was no fridge, there was no washing machine in this house. So it's just things you've got to do. But whoever buys this house next to us will have hopefully some lovely blinds. Um, the garden's a lovely space as well. I mean, I'll sh I've never shown you the garden, I don't think. To be honest, I've only ever been out in my garden once and that's when we came to view the house. I don't even know where the key is, but conservatory door, I don't even know where it is. So, this is our garden. So we've got like a space down here. I've no idea what's in there. Don't even want to have a look. There's stuff in that bag there. No idea, that's not even our bag. And so it, it has been landscaped. Like if you look, like it's all been, like all these stones have been put in place. Like we've got a little section down there. Um, it just needs a good mow. It needs mowing. Um, and also that... Um, fence there um, came down in when we had like storm was it storm Eunice <laughs> so that needs fixing as well but I, can you see the potential that this cute little garden's got obviously it's not child friendly at all in the slightest but obviously that's not something we're worrying about at the minute because Jessica can't even walk um, but I feel like with just a bit of a mo is it a mo just with a bit of a cut of the grass and a bit of a tidy up it actually wouldn't even be bad like and we get a table out there i don't know some chairs um and they sorted it i think it just was so nice for summer because I, I, I feel like i've got four more like fear of missing out of the potential gatherings we could have here because i love this house so much um but in the tarot reading, I take these very seriously, you know, I actually do believe in them. She said that we'd be moving out sooner than we thought. So I have this like fear that we're not going to be in this house this time next year. And I know it obviously we'd be in another house and could have parties then. But I feel like we'd be really missing out this summer if we didn't just get it sorted and get it done. And, you know, I don't know. I just want another nice living space. And this is such a lovely room and... Like, we had Labour coming here. We've been in the garden once when we came to view it. That's the only time we've been in the garden. Like I said, I don't even know where the key is to get outside. <laughs> I don't know. Does anyone else get like this with the house? Just, I don't know. It's just not done and I just don't feel right with it not being done. Like, the bedroom, I couldn't settle in the bedroom when I was poorly because it's just a mess and it's just not finished. And I like to feel cosy and homely and the only place I feel like that is in the living room because the living room's, like, pretty much done. But I love the living the living room. But I just want this done as well. But it's like we've got the the carry cot down there. We've got the Moses basket, the bouncer. We've got another little mat down there. This mat, they're all... We can keep everything for the next baby. But it's like, where do we put it? I don't know. I was going to see what I can do. I just can't go to Ikea on my own because I just can't lift. I just can't do it. I need someone to come with me. And obviously, Jimmy's unwell. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Right everyone, I've not vlogged much today because I've actually been quite busy. I've had to, um, I've been filming some bits. So, uh, we've just finished now. I'm just going to get editing some bits um, that I need done for tomorrow. Last minute as per usual. Worst trait of mine. Leaving everything till the last minute. So, um, I've put the sofa up. Put the sofa up for sale. If anyone's interested, give me a shout. <laughs> I've put it on Facebook Marketplace. Um... Obviously no one's interested in it yet, so hopefully we can sell it and get it gone. If not, um, I don't know what we'll do with it. I've, I've no idea. But until that sells, we can't really do anything else. Um, Jess is with Jimmy, by the way. So yeah, hopefully that sells sometime soon. Um, the house is a mess. I went to Tesco earlier. Um, and I bought some more bits for Jessie because like I said, yesterday we were doing jars, purees and a mixture of baby lead weaning. And I've had a look online and it says it's absolutely fine. So, um, what was I going to show you first? They had... Have I shown you this already? How cute is that? I bought two, they were £1 each. They're absolutely gorgeous little strawberry cups. So, I bought him some more bits like the sweet corn melty sticks. I've bought him these and he's actually had one and he loved it. Absolutely loved it. Apple biscotti. These were all on offer. All the Heinz stuff was on offer. So more biscotti. This is mango and apricot. I've got um, a banana biscotti and a chocolate one as well. And then for the jars for Heinz, it was seven jars for £5, I think. I'll show you the ones that I've got. Um, so these have actually got like... 
um, some bits in, like chunk, chunks of food I think. So I've gone for um, spaghetti bolognese, cheese and tomato pasta stars. I got two, two of each of those I think. Did I? Oh no I didn't. Oh, I didn't. I, I've also got saucy pasta stars with beans and carrot. Um, cottage pie, I've got mango chicken curry. And then I've already got the Heinz baby pasta and then these are bolognese, bolognese, bolognese sauces that you literally just mix in with the pasta. So that's nice. Oh, I also got sweet potato and tender chicken and I've got the Heinz porridge to try to... You don't like the Heinz porridge so why have I bought in this? Mind you, it doesn't like the powder one. I'll try them with this and see if it's a little bit different. And I think that's it. Oh, cheesy tomato pasta. Oh no, I got those ones yesterday, I think. Yeah, I'm mixing up. So I'm going to start them tonight with um, something. I don't know which one. I think I might try them with spaghetti bolognese. In fact, I might, I'm going to do this one. Cheese and tomato pasta stars. And you literally warm it up by putting it in some hot water, I think it says. Let me double check. Best served warm and from a bowl to warm standing hot water and stir. So I think you just plop this in some hot water, put it into a bowl. Uh, and it's actually like little pasta in there but i tried him with the um biscotti and i know i should have, probably shouldn't have done sweet stuff first i just wanted to see how he'd how he'd take to it but he absolutely loved it the only thing is like now that's going to be open um but these were four for three pound i think um so it was quite good and i've also obviously got him the melty sticks and i've got these i think i've shown these earlier I've, I've had these in for a while he hasn't tried any of those yet I've also got like the Tilda Kids rice that you can have. This is the, oh my goodness, everything's going absolutely everywhere because everywhere's a mess. This is the pasta that I've got. And then this is all like Ella's Kitchen and Heinz pouches that I already had previously. Um, so like pears, like maybe this can be like a little side for him. I've got some apple and mango, I've got peaches and banana, some mango yogurt that you can have for a little dessert. So yeah, I'm excited to get cracking on now. I feel like, I don't know, I don't know how I felt, but I felt some sort of way about it and I just, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how I felt, I can't describe it, but I'm looking forward to it now. I feel like we're in a good position to start. So that was a bit of a fail, the... Timmy's been watching all Fast and Furious and I just keep talking and he's getting annoyed. The amount of times I've paused these films now as a It were a bit of a fail to be honest. I warmed it up with the um, jug. <coughs> didn't I yet? Put it in a bowl. I didn't film it because I didn't know how he'd react. Um, he didn't like it. But I don't think he was massively hungry because he'd just had a bottle like an hour before. So... Um, I didn't know whether it was because he wasn't opening his mouth like at all even with the first scoop and with the porridge before when he was hungry he would actually like open his mouth for it Tell them spices. Jimmy we're not telling him we're ordering McDonald's again what? why not anyway guess what we had yesterday so, <laughs> this morning <laughs> no they know we had McDonald's this morning oh is that why you mean don't tell him again well I forgot we had McDonald's this morning but I mean just because we've been ordering takeaways a lot lately. We had it, what, what have we had this week for tea? I don't even want to talk about Monday it. Monday night was bank holiday so what did we have? What day are we even on? Are we on Tuesday? <laughs> right last night we had, what did we have? Oh, no last night we had pasta bake. Last night we had pasta bake and garlic bread. Well, last week we had a load of takeaways. Sunday night we had, Sunday, we had um, yeah, chips, week. cheese and gravy at that place, a, a waffle, and then that night we had Chinese. Shh. Day before we had KFC, didn't we? Sure, I've forgotten that. You said it's a fresh week. Yeah, it's a fresh week, yeah, so we have, we've not had a takeaway yet. We've had McDonald's this morning, Jimmy, no, and count. a Tesco Did meal breakfast. deal. Tesco breakfast does not count. Tesco breakfast, didn't have oh, Tesco oh, breakfast. Oh, McDonald's breakfast then. It does count, because it were a takeaway. It's not. It's not. Well, I want Taco Bell, but, but Jimmy don't like so it, and it really annoys me. Face. McDonald's breakfast is nutritional. I don't think it is. It is. Jimmy, we have pancakes and Listen, syrup. Why do you think they sell fruit bags? <laughs> They sell salads as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't mean McDonald's is nu nutritious. Uh, yeah, but it's better than some, innit? No, I don't think you can get much worse than McDonald's, to be honest. Yes, he's head. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Move your big Anyhow, <laughs> um, so I tried him with that. He wasn't fond, so I thought I'll try him with just like a carrot puree. Ugh. He w didn't want that either. 
tried him with some water. He loved it. You loved the water, didn't you? So I think I'm going to try a bit earlier tomorrow, maybe about six o'clock. Yeah? Can I play my film now? Two seconds, I'm giving him an update. I'm bullying. He's not going to work tomorrow either because he doesn't feel too good still. So tomorrow, my plan is to try him with some porridge. Yes, and then I'm going to try giving him some dinner a little bit earlier. Uh, I think it was about 7 o'clock I gave it him. So I'm going to try about 6 o'clock tomorrow. It's just difficult, isn't it? Because obviously milk is still the main um, source of nutrition. So obviously I don't want to be replacing a meal. It's just difficult. If anyone's got any advice oh, to give shit. me, let me know. Like, when do I give him, do I give him his milk? after the meal do i give him milk before the meal because he wasn't interested tonight because he wasn't hungry because he just had a bottle so someone let me know what's best i'll do my own research as well of course so we're just gonna have some tea now uh, some McDonald's well i think i'm gonna get taco bell jimmy oh you've never tried it why don't you try it because i don't like mushy shit in cardboard it's shit, not I mushy it's lovely it's really nice what did they sell <laughs> So you don't like Taco Bell, but you don't even know what they sell? Tacos. No, I don't have a taco. What do you have then? I have cheese and chicken quesadilla. What's a quesadilla? It's like a two wrap. pieces of wrap with cheese and chicken like inside. It's really nice. It's like a cheese toasty, but wraps. And then I have um, a mini burrito. I can make a cheese toasty. No, but it's not the same as... You can't make a McDonald's. And the chips are lovely. It's got like sauce of spice on top. And they do churros as well. Sounds a bit crap to me. Well, to let's do separate orders then because I'm going to have a Taco enough, Bell. that's fine. means I get to order more for myself. You're still going to pay for that, mine? Nope. That's um, the consequence of having Taco oh, Bell, Liv. Fine. Let's see who gets to us first then. You have to, mine, definitely. Liv. Let's order at the Liv, same time. Me, let's man. order at the same no, time. No, no, no other takeaway <laughs> is faster than McDonald's. Let's, the, let's McDonald's place the order at the same time is then. the fastest <laughs> takeaway in the world. Can we actually place the order at the same time and see who gets here yeah, first? Yeah, right, we'll let me put my order oh, through. Oh, wait, no, because you're one. Right, we've both just had a notification. It's going to be a tight one, this. Both drivers are on the way. I think Jimmy's came through first, though, didn't it? Yeah, it definitely did, but mine's... Oh, no, mine's closer. Yours is actually closer. Only a little bit, though. Not by far, is it? Well, it's not much. Who's going to win, Taco Bell or McDonald's? I've ordered loads. Because I want Jimmy to try yeah, some bits. Yeah, how have you spent nearly 20 quid? Because I've ordered some bits for you to try if you want to try it because it's well, actually really nice. I should have told really me that nice. before I spent 14 quid on my McDonald's. Uh, yeah, but you don't like Taco Bell anyway, do you? What? Oh my God. Until you try it and then you're like, you know what, I really should have ordered Taco Bell. I'm winning this, I'm telling you now. No beats McDonald's speed. No, Jimmy, because me surely it would have been... Jesse's had a ranty. What? Jesse's had both for Jimmy's flip flops today. I don't know how yeah, he's found them. I haven't moved them. You must have. Jesse's had him. Honestly, Jesse had him up floor. You lie. <laughs> Just feeding Jesse now. Just before our food comes. Ooh, I can't wait. Quick. You are. This is not a joke. Where the hell? In the kitchen? Upstairs? <gasps> Keep a lookout, your driver is just a couple of minutes away. They're both here. They're both here? I'm not joking. That's embarrassing. I'm not joking, I'm not they're both joking. here. They're both at the same house, yeah. They're both. Oh no! <laughs> Who's gonna win? Who's gonna get to door? Oh my god, this is the tightest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Thank you. Thank you very much. Who first? McDonald's. Liar! Liv, I promise you. I bet it was Taco Bell. I can't believe they've both come at the same time. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, well, I'm going to enjoy it. I'll show you what I've got actually, but my camera's about to run out of charge. It's a little bit dark, so you can't see, but it's got these gorgeous pyjamas on tonight that says, you're, you, can, you can barely see them, but it says, You're my world. It's a little polar bears on. He got these for Christmas. I think they were a Christmas thing from Sainsbury's. So I'm going to give him a bottle now. I'm going to give him a bottle and get into bed. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you all tomorrow.